It is a real great honor and pleasure for me to have the opportunity to address you at the opening of the annual meeting of the heads of OSE missions in the region. I'm especially glad that this important meeting is being held in Belgrade, and uh, I would like to express my gratitude to the OSC mission to Serbia with Ambassador Bratu at his helm for its organization. The specificity of work of the organization are its field missions, and the importance of this component is particularly visible in our region. Throughout Southeast Europe, the OSCE has played a role in the post-conflict society, uh, societies in transition process while supporting the promotion of respect for human rights, the rule of law, but also strengthening confidence in the reconciliation process in the region. The situation in this part of Europe has changed significantly for the better in the previous period, but the OSC missions still have an important role to play, primarily in supporting the reforms that need to be implemented on our part to EU membership, but also in strengthening overall cooperation in Southeast Europe. The activities of missions aimed at promoting regional cooperation certainly make a significant contribution to strengthening stability in our region. I am deeply convinced that strengthening the regional approach in the work of your missions through horizontal networking would bring visible results, both in terms of strengthening the efficiency of their work in terms and in terms of improving regional cooperation. In addition, such connectivity would contribute to a harmonized regional response to existing and new security challenges such as the migrant crisis or the fight against extremism and radicalism, which this part of the world is still facing. I de therefore take this opportunity to encourage all field missions in Southeast Europe to enhance mutual cooperation by identifying areas for joint approach and action. As regards the relations in the region of Southeast Europe, I would like to emphasize that the Republic of Serbia is fully committed to the promotion of regional cooperation and is actively contributing to resolving open issues, positioning itself as reliable factor of stability. In relations with its neighbors, but also with other countries in the region, Serbia strives to focus on the development of economic cooperation, which is the basis of our Open Balkan Initiative. Even during the COVID-19 pandemic, Serbia has not forgotten that great challenges can be overcome only by solidarity and observing the region as a whole. Guided by human motives, our country provided significant quantities of vaccines to neighboring countries that requested this type of assistance, but also enabled their citizens to be vaccinated in the Republic of Serbia. Ladies and gentlemen, Bearing in mind that Serbia has been hosting two OSC field missions for two decades in Belgrade and Pristina, we attach importance to the organization's field's presence. Over 20 years period of operation of the OSC mission to Serbia, we have tried to make the most of its expert support in the process of comprehensive so social reforms. As an example, of this, I would like to point out the support of the mission in drawing up the media strategy, as well as in the implementation of the action plan for its enforcement. We are especially proud of the fact that cooperation with the OSCE mission to Serbia since its establishment has been based on partnership. Another evidence of this is the fact that the cooperation between the OSCE mission to Serbia and our institutions have served has served as a model of successful relations between the host country and the field mission for many years as emphasized by the organization. I would like to underline that we uphold the work of the OSC mission in Kosovo and Metohia, 
as a vis visible international status neutral presence in the province, which operates in accordance with its mandate under the UN Security Council Resolution 1244. The engagement of the OSCE mission in the areas of monitoring the respect of human rights, community rights, and the democratic standards is of special significance, with special emphasis on the right of non-Albanian communities, displaced persons, returnees, and other vulnerable groups. In view of the fact that foreign policy of the countries in our region, including my country, is based on the European agenda, I hope that the other countries, such as Serbia, will use the support of OSCE mission to their territory in order to further progress on the European path. I believe that when we are talking about cooperation between the OSC field missions and the host countries, the key factor should be the partnership and strategic approach in defining long-term goals and priorities in accordance with the needs of the state and society. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I would like to express my conviction that this two-day meeting will contribute to strengthening the efficiency and advancing the work of your missions. I wish you very success, very successful meeting, every success in your profession, but also in your personal lives, in your endeavors, and a pleasant, very pleasant stay in Belgrade. Welcome to Serbia. Thank you.